Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to go way off topic, but we're going to stay on track. Okay, so what we're going to talk about has got nothing to do with reefing, but it's got to do with how we can help make this channel better. Okay, so I've been doing a bit of research on what I need to get better audio. Now, I've always wanted to get the Rode Wireless Go, but my camera that I'm using, which is the Canon SX520 HS PowerShot doesn't have a mic input. So uh, I've been using the, the built-in uh, mic that it has, but uh, as you guys have seen, my quality of sound hasn't been the greatest. I mean, where, because the camera is so far away from me, it picks up ambient noise in, in, the, in the room and there's a hiss. So when I start editing the video, I need to try and remove the hiss by compressing it using dehisses, debuggers, you know, and what happens is it compresses the, the, the sound so much that I lose quite a bit of volume. I get rid of the hiss on some of the, I think it was my last one, I, get, I got rid of the hiss quite well, but my volume level dropped dramatically, and the more I try and pick up the volume, then it starts to distort. So like I said, I wanted to get the wireless go, but it sort of defeats the object because I'd have to plug it into a recording device which in that sense what's the point of getting a wireless go now I still want to get one when I upgrade the camera but for now I found something really nice it's called the Rode Smart Lav Plus okay so the Smart Lav Plus is designed for tablets and and smartphones it has a it's a tip so a TRRS input which is the same as what your smartphone users for your hands-free headphone and mic. Okay, so it's actually made for that device. So I'm going to unbox it now. So we're still recording vocal off the camera at the moment. To give someone the idea of what the difference is between recording from your onboard mic versus using a dedicated mic for vocals. So for some other YouTuber that is having the same issue as me, I hope this video does help. Okay, so this is the Smart Lav Plus by Rode. Okay, so let's open it up and see what it comes with. Oh, I just damaged the box there. Whoopsie. Okay, so nothing in the box. That's it. I'll leave that there. So inside the box comes a little Rode bag, quite smart. A little instruction manual or quick, quick start guide. A uh, the clip and it looks like a cable tie and then the microphone itself and a little bit of dehumidifier okay so let's pull the microphone out okay warning warning it's a strangling strangulation hazard first time I've ever seen a, a warning sign like that that is quite unique okay so here is the microphone so now this microphone will plug directly into a smartphone. If you have recording off of your smartphone, there are extensions available that you can plug this into your smartphone and then run the cable and then obviously hide it nicely in your shirt and put it on your collar. If you're using, like I'm going to be doing, I'm using one of my old smartphones as a recording device and on this phone I've actually uploaded an app called band lab let's open that up okay I'm already open on band lab um, so I would scroll over to voice and audio and then it's loading now it's ready to record on there okay so th that's the little microphone it's actually quite an amazing little microphone let's pull this clip out so I'm not going to hide it in my shirt I'm just going to clip it on here now to give you an idea of of the difference between recording on the onboard mic and using a, a dedicated mic for your for your voice yes okay, put that there okay oh that's quite nice it's a little little cable little cable neater and upper okay so for those of you you don't know my background I used to work in musical instrument retail for oh, a good 13 years of my life so this is not new to me okay let's okay so 
a little tip with using a lavalier microphone is to point the microphone down. You would think to have it that way would be better. It does still work, but if you go pa pa a lot, that comes out. So your pops do come out when you talk. So a little tip is just to have it inverted with the mic facing downward. So we're going to put that on the collar there. Oh, sorry, no, not like that, sorry. <laughs> but put the mic in the shirt. Okay, so there we go. The little microphone is pointing in the downward direction. Let's plug this in here. And then, so, in three, two, one. We are now recording with the Smart Lav Plus by Rode. So I hope it's a, a, an improvement. I do feel that I'm going to get a more, um, a better vocal for me to adjust when I'm doing my editing. And I think I'm going to be able to project a lot better without having to lose a lot of quality of sound. So if anyone, any YouTuber out there that's starting just like I have and want to look at a, a inexpensive microphone, uh, let's, let's, there are cheaper microphones out there. But I just, I just feel Rode is a good quality mic. I mean, it's a, it's a very nice microphone to use. And well, well, this video will be the proof in the pudding, the difference between using um, the onboard camera mic and using an old smartphone or your original smartphone and, um, and the microphone. And in all fairness, this is wireless. If I had to do a video where I need to walk around and film, I can just put the mic cable behind my shirt and put this device in my pocket. And there we go. You know, it's a wireless, it's a wireless device, which works perfectly fine. Okay, obviously when, when, when doing the editing, I'd have to import the vocals and the film and link them together, but that's easy enough done and to get better quality sound, I think that's great. So to my usual reefer guys, I am sorry that uh, we went totally off topic, but we're still on track because with this little addition to the family, we now can produce better vocals, better videos. Thanks Simil for watching guys and I hope this helps someone that's, that's in the market for, for better um, sound on their videos. Happy reefing.